So for this lab, uh, for this uh, um, uh, for this course, what will be required? Number one, you will need a VMware workstation or Oracle Badger box. So you can download the VMware workstation or Oracle Badger box. And beyond the VMware workstation, I believe that uh, we've already had our Kali box set up. Uh, when we started with the uh, with the first course, because this is a continuation of the course that was there on, on the uh, of the course that was done uh, last uh, semester. So in your lab, uh, your VMware or your Oracle Badger box, you will need a Kali Linux. Kali Linux has a lot of uh, penetration testing tooling. And uh, and it comes uh, pre-installed with a Kali, uh, sorry, it comes pre-installed with, uh, uh, with Python. Because for the essence of this course, we're talking a lot about how to use Python tooling, Python scripting for our HTML exercise. This is like a kind of uh, advanced and level course. So we'll, most of our exploitation will center around that. Uh, Python scripting. So that's the reason why uh, Kali Linux T uh, is still our favorable uh, penetration testing uh, lab. So you can download the Kali Linux from the Offensive Security website. So apart from the Kali Linux, we will also need uh, a an application called uh, Beef uh, or Beefbox. I will show us shortly where to download that application. And also, we also need a OWAP broken web application VM. OWAP broken web application VM contains quite a number of uh, vulnerable, uh, vulnerable. Uh, website vulnerable applications that can be used for the purpose of this of this course. So the essence of this lab, just for us to not to, it just for this is for educational purpose. So please and please, some of this demonstration by that we start with the uh, with the lesson two uh, can be very very inclusive. So I will repeat myself again. If you not obtain a written permission to conduct a relative exercise on any IT asset, please do not do that. It's against the ethics of the job. So if you want to do any practice, you can leverage on this lab. I will show us through how to download some of these uh, VMware to our system. Shopping. All right. So some of the uh, tooling that will be required on your host machine, you will need to download your host machine, which is a, a Windows a Windows 10. You need to download the latest version of Python 3. Or you can also download either the latest version of Python 3 or Python 2. Either of the two will work for this course. Then you also, this way to download it, you browse through python.org slash download slash windows. Then for your Kali Linux, for you to download your Kali Linux, you go to Kali Linux, sorry, Kali.org slash doc slash introductions slash download. 
So you can download the ISO file if you want to do the installation on your USB drive or you want to install it, uh, uh, you can download the ISO files, the bootable ISO image on the, on your machine, whether in 32 bit or 64 bit format. If you are not sure of the architecture of the system you want to run your Kali on, you can uh, use this command. Then you can also download uh, the virtual machine image. So for the virtual machine image, this is very, very straightforward. You can uh, depend on the virtual machine you want to use, whether you want to use VMware or virtual bus, either works. Or make sure that you try that in your in your lab, please. Make sure that you try that and make sure that you work that uh, you 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 work through the instruction. So I have created a separate instruction for our first lab, and that lab will take you minimum of uh, let's say one hour thirty minutes. Let's say max. Uh, two hours 30 minutes for you to set up uh to set up the 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 the, 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 the machines so then that your machine you also need a very well workstation player so for for this course i decided to use very well workstation player but you can also use oracle virtual bus I think Oracle Virtual Bus is a little bit lighter. So depending on your, so you go to the virtualbox.org and uh, this is where you get the, 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 the various uh, uh, download depending on what, what you want. So there are different uh, packages for Windows OS and also for for Linux based system. So apart from this, you also need a, an OWAP's broken web application. OWAP broken web application, this, uh, this application has uh, quite a number of vulnerable uh, application that you can play with. So this is one of the projects of the OWAP's uh, uh, developed by OWAPS. So the the source code, uh, sorry, the the uh, the VMware can be found on the, uh, on the sourceforge.net. Or if you can browse through the sourceforge, if you go through the OWAPS, search for OWAPS broken web application, you'll be able to tweet take you back to this page. So you need to download the VMware. And also, you also, I may mention of, uh, uh, BWAAP. This is a buggy, we call it buggy web application. So this application can also be gotten from sourceforge.net. So this application, uh, this uh, project contains quite a number of uh, vulnerable uh, application that you can play with. And it has quite a lot of number of uh, vulnerabilities that you can practice with. So you can see the, these are the listing of uh, vulnerabilities on this buggy web application. So the buggy web application is also part of uh, OWAP's uh, buggy web application. So but uh, at times I normally, for some application, I normally want to work closely with the 
uh, with with the source, the original source project. So these are the different machine uh, that need to be downloaded. You need, let me repeat myself. You need uh, the whole broken web application VMware. You need the buggy web application uh, VMware. Uh, or, let, uh, or rather virtual box, then you can put this on your VMware workstation or on your Oracle virtual box. And don't forget to download uh, the Kali Linux as well. So during the course of the class, we'll be discussing more and also created a lab materials, uh, like a lab instruction on how to set up your first uh, lab. And uh, so now let me just quickly walk us through how to navigate through the, uh, because uh, this course will be leveraging more on the application of uh, Python, application of Python for uh, so let me just quickly run us through. So this is my machine. As you can see on my machine, at times I, I love to play with the various the version of uh, Kali. So don't mind me. So I have a, a VMware for 2018, uh, the Kali for 2018 box. I also have a Kali for 2021. I have Kali for 2017, but you can just download any of those or those, or the latest one. So this D-Box, this is my B, uh, the buggy web application, and this is my world broken web application. So let's start the, let me start the Kali box, the Kali Linux. For you to start your Kali Linux, you double click. Okay, sorry, I think uh, something is wrong with that. So it's loading. Depending on the speed of your machine, you take a while, but I always recommend that you need a minimum of uh, eight gigram and uh, 500 gigabyte worth of hard disk. But if you, you have a higher capacity system, earlier uh that's be okay for you so for my machine i have a i'm using a 60 gig graph and then one terabyte add this and if you have something much more higher it's okay but you can actually uh manage uh, uh you can manage your 8 gig RAM and uh and 500 gigabytes worth of addict space so this is the environment. This is my Kali environment. So enter the, the, the username, which is the root. Then the default account, depending on the version of Kali that you are using, the default account can be Kali, and the default password can be Kali, and uh, or root or. So depending on what are you using, but you can always uh, you can always uh, change uh, change your password by using passwd command. So this is the environment, but you need to be very sure that whether you have your Python set up on your environment. So for me to uh, to ensure that I can just type Python. So you can see I have Python version 2.7.15 already set up on my environment. So that means that I'm ready. 
to go but because Python won't advantage of carrying us, you don't need to install Python. Carrying Linux come to the body with, with Python. So those are some modules that you need to install. And uh, but if it doesn't come in bundle, you can always uh, but yeah, I know Kali Linux always come bundle with uh, so that's why we are using Kali Linux. But if you are using other uh flavor of uh, Linux, you might need to install it manually. But for the purpose of this class, I will strongly recommend that we is to, uh, we used the Kali Linux. On your host system, let me navigate to my host system. This, I've, I've downloaded the, uh, the Python for Windows on my machine. So after the installation, you can use your command line, just type, Python to start your Python scripting. You can see on my Windows environments, I have version, the Python version of 2.7.117. So this is how to set up the lab. So I have a more detailed instruction on setting up your lab. And uh, I will employ us that let's take our time to run through the, the setup, make sure that our lab works perfectly before we proceed uh, with the other part of the lesson. So this lab, the installation, because of time, it, uh, because the Python, uh, uh, Kali is a little bit uh, heavy and uh, the about two points something to three point something gig, depending on the speed of your system. Uh, it might take you some minutes before you finish the downloading, depending on the, the on the speed of your system. It might take you uh, some uh, uh, minutes, thirty to forty minutes max. And also depending on the speed of the internet. Then another thing that will also be required. Uh, yes, uh, once in a while you need an internet connection, especially whenever you want to download uh, some of this lab. I make use of a publicly available lab uh, that uh, can easily be downloaded. And all these links to this download are provided in the instruction manner for the lab. So take your time, go to the lab and set up, make sure that you're, you set up your machine because all this machine will be referenced, will be referenced later on in the course. Thank you.